Okay, using Google Calendar tasks and how to make them recurring so that you are saving yourself time, being more efficient. Let's get into it. So I did a previous video on Google tasks, on time blocking, they are linked up, but let's get the most out of our time management here when we're using Google Calendar. All right, so let me share, let me show you my screen. This is my personal calendar here. All right, um, you, I don't have it overlaid with all of the C-chat stuff right now. You can do that. You can see on the one side, you can overlay whatever calendars you want. Um, so you can manage more than one, like your family calendar, your other business, your whatever it is, you can overlay them. That's a great, great thing. All right, so you're in the calendar and how you access Google Tasks is you have that little blue check mark over on the side. I keep mine up all the time. I just wanted to show you guys how to open it. So if you wanna just look at your start or my tasks, you can do that. I just have it there. And I just have my tasks that are um, active now. Once they're completed, they go off the list. Like I'm gonna use um, this, uh, let's see, my priority one. Like if I check that off, it's gonna repeat tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay, so I have, there are certain ones that I have recurring every day, like priority. Um, I set my priorities in the morning and I do them one at a time. I put them in order of priority. I know it said, should say priorities, but there's a reason it says priority because I wanna be working at one priority at a time, one priority. Okay, and then I just go down the list. All right, so I have that set up. So that pops up, that will be on there every day at 6 a.m. When I, So if I mark this complete, it's gonna show up again tomorrow morning and I'm gonna reset those priorities. So for example, here I would, when I get up, let's pretend I just got up in the morning, I just rolled out of bed. All right, I'm setting my schedule. So I need to know first I would ship, then I would list, then I probably need to record something for C chats. Then maybe I need to, um, let's say, uh, take a walk. And I just put them in order. There it is. And that comes up again every morning. All right, now how you set up a recurring task, I'm going to go ahead and then we'll show over here, if you assign it, if you watched my first tutorial on Google Tasks, how you get them to show up on your calendar here. Like you can see, I have all these blue ones that have check marks are actually tasks. These are, uh, the other ones are events. So there's tasks and there's events. If you want your task to show up on your calendar, you need to assign it a specific day and time. All right, so let's say I, what do I do every day? All right, um, let's say I wanna put walk on my schedule. And yes, schedule your personal things as well as your business things. It is very important that um, your personal stuff makes it onto your schedule. And this is an awesome hack, a great way to do it. All right, let's say I wanna walk every weekday at one o'clock. I wanna take a break and I wanna walk at one o'clock. So I would set up a day and time. I could have it repeat every day if I want, um, but I only want it five days a week. Let's say I only want it scheduled for the weekdays. So how you would do that is you have to change that repeats every one week. And this is where most people get hung up and you want it to repeat on those days. So if you're trying to do a, something for certain, only certain days of the week, you're gonna say repeats every one week and then you choose the days and ends never. And I'm gonna set a specific time because I want it to show up on my calendar. Let's say 1 p.m. There you go, all right. So this is set up on my calendar every day at 1 p.m. There you can see it. You can see it right on there. All right. And you can mark it, complete it from your calendar view, or you can walk, you can mark it, complete it here, and it will show up again the next day and the next day and the next day. And it will remind you that that is what you need to do. Um, I think that's I think that's pretty much it for the recurring tasks. 
Again, I like them to show up on my calendar and I do leave this up every single day. Um, like I have my slight edge list. Everything I spend five minutes on every day, I give myself a little heart when I finish something for the day that shows up every day. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Now, this is not a recurring task. This is, I talked about this in the other video as well, but I think it is really a game changer, is my mind sparkle list. Some people call it a brain dump. I call it a mind sparkle because we get these great ideas through the day. So again, this is not a recurring task. It is just like when an idea occurs to me and there is something I need to take care of and I'm in the middle of my listing time block and I don't want to I don't want to stop. I shouldn't stop if I'm in like a deep focus, but I can't get this thought and I don't want to forget it. Instead of like a lot of people jot it down in a notepad and then can't find the notepad, blah, blah, blah. Mine goes right on my mind sparkle list. And that way I can look at that and I can see everything I kind of have to, you know, take care of any stray thought that came into my mind. So it's out of my mind. It's not interrupting my focus. It's on that list. So that is not a recurring task, but I think it's a good one for anybody that's using this task list to have on there. Um, there, I have a lot of tasks that repeat maybe on the, you know, third Thursday of every month or something like that. You can easily do that. Um, let's say I, um, um, trim my dog's nails. I don't know. I don't do that. He's in Chihuahua and he's vicious. The vet does that. But let's say I did that and I wanted to do that every, um, I wanted to set a repeat time. All right, repeat every, so something like that if you were scheduling every one month and then you could say like the fourth Sunday of the month, the third, the 23rd of the month. I mean, it's pretty robust in how you can, how you can go ahead and schedule that. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to delete that because that's not a real thing. I think I might leave the walk on there and there you have it. All right. So hopefully that helps you be more efficient with your time and uh, create some recurring tasks in Google and use this for maximum efficiency. Check out the other videos we're doing on uh, Google Calendar and making it work for you so that you can get all the things done.